What causes water density and pressure? Water density and pressure increase with depth. If I ask you why, then you will give me a one word response without having to even think about it. But now we are going to think about it. We are going to apply reason, logic, and what can be actually proved to come to a testable cause and effect relationship. The following discussion is based on the following main three assumptions. Assumption one, particles exist and vibrate in all directions. Assumption two, particles of gas move more, have more kinetic energy than particles in a liquid. Particles of a liquid move more or have more kinetic energy than particles in a solid. Assumption three, intermolecular forces exist between particles. In this example, we have a layer of liquid water in a container. The bottom and sides of the container is a solid material. Above the water, we have the less dense air layer and below the water is the container, which is solid. In this example, we have more water in the container and introduce the intermolecular forces present. Obviously, the water does not sit in perfect layers and the water particles are in motion around one another. This diagram represents that there will always be some water particles at the top of the column and some water particles at the bottom of the water column. Weak or negligible intermolecular forces between the air particles, strong intermolecular forces between the water particles, the more dense water layer at the bottom and the less dense air layer above. The freedom of movement of the water and air particles is now examined. Air particles have the largest degree of freedom of movement. The water particles have a strong intermolecular forces between them and have less freedom of movement compared to the air particles. The water at the bottom has the least freedom of movement as the particles are sandwiched between the solid container and the layer of water above. The water particles that are vibrating and moving have a greater freedom of movement in an upward direction due to the less dense medium of air being above the water. Gas is above the water. The liquid water is contained between a gas and a solid, solid underneath. The water particles that are vibrating and moving have a greater freedom of movement in an upward direction due to the less dense medium of air being above the water. The water particles that are vibrating and moving have a greater freedom of movement in an upward direction due to the less dense medium of air being above the water. The water is less dense and less packed towards the top of the water column. Water has less freedom of movement in the downward direction. Water is more dense and more packed in a downward direction. Density gradient of the water. The gas above is less dense than the water. Solid underneath, more dense than the water. The water particles are vibrating and moving in all directions. See the concept Brownian motion. The density gradient of the water is determined by the density, relative to water, of the substance above and below the column of water, assuming a stable temperature throughout the water column. Cause and effect. Cause. The liquid water column is sandwiched between a more dense solid, example glass, underneath it, and a less dense gas, example air, above it. Effect. The vibrating and moving water particles have a greater freedom of movement in an upward direction so the water is less dense and less packed towards the top of the water column or reversely, more dense and more packed towards the bottom of the column. This cause and effect relationship is supported by known and accepted scientific principles. Application of reason, logic, and what can actually be proved leads to this cause and effect relationship. Cause. The liquid water column is sandwiched between a more dense solid underneath it and a less dense gas above it. Effect. The vibrating and moving water particles have a greater freedom of movement in an upward direction, so the water is less dense and less packed towards the top of the water column, or reversely, more dense and more packed towards the bottom of the column. 
What causes water density and pressure? Density and relative density provides a testable explanation based on known and accepted scientific principles with no addition of a downward force. My sincere thanks to Karen B for her technical support in the production, and this video is dedicated to Taboo Conspiracy 2. Please check out the YouTube channel.